this is a review of the Shark NZ850 UKT uh, corded vacuum with anti hair wrap, the pet model. Uh, this isn't a paid review, but I was sent this as a review unit for free. So it's important just put that out there straight away to be transparent. Now I have reviewed uh, Shark vacuums before and I do actually own one that personally we have paid for. Um, but now we have more of a need for uh, a vacuum because uh, during lockdown we got a little cockapoo called Poppy and she does leave, I, I was led to believe the cockapoo doesn't leave much hair around but at the moment she seems to be leaving uh, hair everywhere. So this is going to be a great test for this uh, just to see how it works out. So let's have a look and see what's in here. So, okay. So. Okay, so we've got in the box, we've got some instructions and a whole load of accessories. So lovely to see that the accessories are wrapped in paper. So it really looks like they're trying to get away with um, using as little plastic, especially single use plastics as possible. So I've got an accessory, uh, another accessory. So they, they have got little pictures on them showing what the accessory is. Uh, but we'll, we'll take all of those in a moment. Another accessory. What looks like the hose. Uh, and then in here. Again, more, car more, more cardboard here. Right, okay, that's the actual vacuum head itself. Okay. Again, more cardboard. This is great to see all of this cardboard going into this packaging and actually really reducing the amount of plastic uh, that's going in here. There we go. And lastly, that's that. So let's get rid of that box. So great to see. In fact, I, I bought a, a pair of scissors so I could be able to kind of cut, cut things out and stuff. But actually so far, I haven't had to even use them. So from an accessibility point of view, it's great to see that when we're really not seeing like fiddly sellotape and, and things like this, that sometimes make it a bit challenging for people to get into packaging. So I'd love to see all of that. Okay, so here is the vacuum unit. Okay, we've got. Oh, I like this. I, I wanted. I want it orange at the moment. I like the the blue, the blue pole. There we go. So that we've got the hose. There, there, we've got this, which is obviously the vacuum roller unit. It's a, is there a whole load of terminology that I need to know? I, perhaps I should have researched this before, before researching, uh, before reviewing it. So again, same. So we have a Duo Clean right now. Um, and I'm, it's great to see that some of the things um, are there that we can use, you know, we can just easily clip some of these bits off uh, and things like that. So great to see there. Okay. Then we've got the, oh, there we go, a bit fiddly, but because it's paper, I can just rip it really easily. And I've got the crevice tool. I think this is called a crevice tool. Okay. We've got a little roller thingy. So it's quite nice. It's got like a rubber, um, it's like got rubber fins on it. Let's just show you. It's got rubber fins on it as it, as it moves around. So it'd be really great uh, to kind of pick stuff up rather than brushes. So quite an interesting, an interesting look there. I'll have a look at the book in a minute and see what this is called. The rubber fin what's it thingy. And uh, one more, one more accessory that's included. Okay, and then this is one that's got these uh, really nice stiff bristles on there, etc. So really clear, we've got the uh, quick start instructions there. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna use the instructions, but I'm sure I don't need to do that. Of course, I've read all of these before you. So this will hopefully tell me what some of those 
some of those uh, accessories are called. Okay, so we've got the base, and we say, so take this in, one click. That clipped, okay, two. bits here on the back uh, just down here there's the base here does say go on to that oh no that's for this one sorry there's go on to here oh it looks like oh, before we just do that it does look like this is actually like a two-in-one type thing ah Great, so this is really interesting. So kind of try, it looks like they're really trying to reduce the number of accessories that you have that are clipped onto the back of the vacuum there, because this one actually um, is two different ones. So this is, I think, might be a curtain one. Um, or you can stick that on there and, it, and then it becomes this, um, this stiff brush unit. I'm gonna look and see what these are called before I do that. So, I mean, that is, that is pretty much that's pretty much it. So, um, so that, so that's that. Really, that was really, really easy to set up. And again, I'm quite lucky that I'm quite dexterous with my fingers and stuff. But if you were buying this for, uh, you know, an elderly relative or someone who wasn't kind of very good with setting up technology and stuff, couldn't really be any clearer there in the instruction guides at all. And again, I love even even the wrap even the wrap here around this cord, uh, around the power cord is also, uh, seems to be some kind of paper based type thing. It's got a bit of, it's got a, it's got a wire in it, but it, again, it seems to be kind of paper based. Okay, so let's turn this bad boy on and see what it can do. So I did say I would find out what these things are called. It is in the manual here. So this is indeed, as I said, the crevice tool, uh, which is great. This is the multi-surface tool. So it is the um, upholstery tool and then uh, and this stiffed brushed one to be able to uh, get into those areas that need a little bit more bristle action. And then this one here, which was the one with the kind of the interesting like, rubber, almost rubber fins. This is their anti-hair wrap pet power brush. So this is the one that we really need because uh, having Poppy, she has left us some stuff, just some hair and muck and stuff that comes from having a pet. So, you know, this tackles pet hair and grounding dirt from carpeted stains and upholstery while actively removing hair wrap as it cleans. So this is straight out of the manual then. But let's have a look just using it as a standing upright. So here is the first thing that I actually noticed just looking up here is uh, is the switch here to go on there, which is great. Um, but what I have noticed here is that there are three lengths. So previously on my shark, I had either carpeted floor uh, or, or naked floor, uh, hard floor, something like this. And then this one here actually has three different settings. So it's got, uh, it's, uh, let me just, in fact, what we'll do is we'll just use the wand release here to be able to show you here. Okay, so there are actually three settings here. So we've got thick carpet area or rug. We've got carpet and low pile, and then we've got hard floor. So again, you can just flick between those there. So I think for this area, this isn't a thick carpet. We're just going to go with carpet slash uh, low pile. And uh, we'll just give this a, a little run over and see what it does. Just push that down and uh, let's hit that switch.
Okay, so that was just a really quick test. It was a really powerful suction as it went across there. It's important to say that this is just a normal family house. This isn't like a special carpet that's been set up, you know, like you see in the adverts, where is a pristine carpet. Uh, this is a lived in family house with children, dog, etc. So it is, but I mean, you can see here, you can just see on the camera, actually just over here, you know, it left those really strong lines there. Definitely uh, showing that it's got a really powerful suction action on there. Um, so I'm just gonna finish off here uh, before I get told off for only doing half a job. So the other thing now is, it, actually it is Christmas at the moment when I'm filming this, um, and it's just got to that point that every time you go near the, the tree, it just will uh, kind of sprinkle some of its uh, little leaves down onto the floor there. So, uh, or the needles, let's say. So actually, and what I'm gonna try and do is use this brush here. Uh, I'm actually gonna take this off and use the upholstery brush to just kind of try and get some of these uh, needles up off there. So really easy, all I'm gonna do is just go here onto this wand release here. Okay, and take that out. Okay, we'll just put the camera down here. There we go. Okay, and then here we've got this, this unit. So again, you know, we saw this earlier. Just click that off there, just to get the upholstery tool. I honestly don't know if that's the most appropriate tool or not. But what's quite nice is obviously because the handle, uh, because the switch is here on the handle rather than the unit, it doesn't really matter how far away the unit is because I've actually got full control to be able to switch stuff on and off when I'm here with the bit that I want. So let's just see how well this works on picking up needles. So uh, let's go from there. a really good job i think one of the things that sometimes with pine needle needles is they get caught up and and yeah, i did have to kind of get one that was caught up in here but actually for the most part it, it managed to pick up those needles without me having to uh, interfere with that uh, so i think really in terms of kind of christmas and and picking up those pine needle needles that's a definite win for me okay so let's have a look now at what it's like on hard floor so i'm going to switch this over into uh, the hard floor mode there um, I mean, you can see here, you know, there is fluff here and stuff that's coming from the dog. Um, this isn't a show home. This isn't <laughs> like especially, uh, especially prepared one for reviews. This is a real family home that a dog and family live in. And um, one of the other things as well that I quite like is that you'll see when we turn it on, because it's got this light on the front, it makes it really easy to see where you're going. So like sometimes our hallway is a little bit dark. Um, so let's have a look and see how well it tackles the hallway. So again, a great job there in the hallway. Definitely, definitely aided by the light on the front. It really felt like there was great suction powder, uh, great suction power, not powder, great suction power uh, when we were going here. I mean, this area here that had the fluff, it just kind of lifted it straight up uh, really, really easily there. Again, tackled uh, tackled the, the, uh, the mat here where people come, particularly filthy area, really, really easily. So I think we'll have a go at a stair test. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna have a go at now is the bottom stair in my hallway. Now, I've already given this caveat a few times. This is an active family house with very messy children and a dog. So the carpets, especially in this very busy area, are certainly not in pristine condition. And I wouldn't expect, you know, the vacuum to be able to bring them back to the life of where they were originally. But I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go with the with this pet hair attachment because this is where the dog sits a lot of the time. She just kind of lays here in the way um, if you want to come down the stairs. So I'm just going to give it a go here because it is particularly filthy here um, and just see how well this works on here. So you can hear that noise, it's really going for Okay, so I'm actually amazed with that. Um, so I, I did add this caveat that this is a busy house with a dog, two kids, etc. Um, and this area here is really is really filthy a lot because the kids come here, they put their shoes on, they put their feet here when they put their shoes on. Uh, the dog sits here, etc. But you can hear like when I switched that on, it sounded like an aircraft carrier getting ready to take off. But definitely, it definitely had the power there because this. This has probably brought up the best that it's been in a long, long, long time. So if you've got pets, this is definitely a great win. And there's some other areas where I'm going to try this, where I'd kind of given up uh, on that carpet ever coming back to life. <coughs> okay, so the last thing I'm going to test is uh, just the stairs here. Now, one of the things that I love about the shark vacuums is that because they've got this powered lift away, I can just take that off there. And again, I can use the wand release up here, which I used earlier. Let's put that down on the floor. There we go. And the wand release that I used earlier. And then I can just kind of discount this area. You know, so you're not worrying about the vacuum cleaner falling over once you stretch out this hose. So then I'm just going to stick on here. We're going to be using the brushy tool, uh, carrying this up and down the stairs and uh, just seeing how we get on there. And as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. But you can see here, you know, these really, I didn't really spend very long on these at all, but they are, you know, absolutely spotless here. Again, this is a house with two mucky children who uh, do run up and down those stairs, even though we tell them to take their shoes off, they sometimes forget. And of course, the, the final test is just to look and see what's in the vacuum itself. So uh, I'm just gonna click on the dust cap uh, release here really really easy just take that off there and you can see that we just lightly went around the living room uh, did a little bit here in the hallway on the uh, on the flat surface and did the stairs there and there is a fair amount that's in here so you know we didn't vacuum for a couple of days uh, and the dog has been running around the children have been running around etc and wanted to make sure that there was enough to give it a fair test we weren't just vacuuming a, a super clean carpet but you could see that there's a lot more that I, uh, that I was actually expecting there. Okay, so there you have it, the Shark NZ850 UKT. It uh, is designed really for people with pets, uh, a great pet attachment there, uh, or if you've got particularly monkey children. Um, so, and some of the things really just wanted to call out there, I know that I looked at them in the review there, but things like it was so easy to put together, taking it straight out of the box, sticking it together, it took no time at all. You don't really need to look at the instructions. Uh, dead easy. I love that there was no plastic in the package at all. It was all paper. So all of that wrapping went straight into my recycle bin. And really, I don't feel like I'm, you know, uh, making a bad impact on the planet by buying a device uh, where the manufacturers are so conscious about making sure they've got that really eco-friendly packaging. Um, to be honest, it, it rejuvenated some of the areas of uh, carpet in our house 
which I really thought were done for. Um, the impact on the stairs, there's another area actually just by the door in this living room here, uh, where the dog and sometimes shoes come into the living room when they're not supposed to, uh, etc. But just kind of going over with that, uh, that pet attachment with the, uh, the yellow rubbery fins, really, really did a fantastic job on there as well. Uh, in terms of kind of attachments, I think that the attachments that you've got are the ones that you would need. Sometimes I've bought vacuum cleaners in the past that have a whole array of attachments that people never ever use. So I think having uh, that all-in-one attachment there, which switched off from the brushes or the upholstery tool, again, stops you having to have two, uh, two attachments there. So it's better if it has a less of an environmental impact because we're not making two attachments there. But having you know, the bristle brush, the upholstery cleaner, uh, the crevice tool to get into those narrow spaces, and then that special pet brush, I think is the perfect number of accessories that you'd need for this. So um, if you're really interested in the uh, Shark NZ 850 UKT, then there is a link in the description here on this YouTube channel where you can go and buy that. Um, you know, if you're interested in this review and you want to see more, then please hit subscribe, uh, hit like, share this video, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that when new reviews come out, then you get notified. Um, we've got a lot more uh, tech reviews planned for this channel. Uh, we've got some other sharp products which are which we're going to be looking at as well. Um, so definitely hit like and subscribe. Come back here, uh, kind of for for the the dad reviews. Uh, you know, having a review from a slightly different perspective. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video, and I'll see you again on another. One.